Hummingbirds have the special ability to create sounds with their tail feathers. This sound is used by male hummingbirds to attract females for mating. They spread their tail feathers as they fly, and as the air moves through those feathers, it creates vibrations, much like a violin string. The speed they flap their wings at gives them the ability to hover in midair, with the slowest beating at 12 beats per second, and the fastest only seen in smaller variants of hummingbirds at over 80 beats per second. If you think that's fast, listen to this. Their heart rate can reach 1,260 beats per minute. To match that, they breathe in and out over 200 times a minute. We have recorded top flying speeds to be 34 miles per hour, or 54 kilometers. And while they dive at each other, up to 49 miles per hour, or 79 kilometers. They use so much energy that every night they go into a type of hibernation meaning that their metabolic rate and body temperatures drop when they sleep to conserve energy. Even with those changes, a hummingbird will lose about 10% of its body weight. For an average adult male, that would be like losing 18 pounds, or 8.2 kilograms, every single night, and then have to wake up and gain it all back. Even though we are used to seeing them eat nectar, hummingbirds eat a wide variety of tiny flying insects, which they catch midair, zigzagging through swarms, picking them off one by one. Because they use so much energy, they are vulnerable to starvation. And since food can be rare and difficult to get, hummingbirds have evolved in a variety of ways to make sure they can get the hardest food to reach. When a hummingbird feeds on nectar, the bill is usually open, only slightly, allowing the tongue to go into the deep interior of the flowers. In fact, each species of hummingbird has evolved to have different beak shapes and sizes to best fit the flowers in their migration area. The tongue flicks into the nectar 20 times a second and have a structure that has not been seen in any other animal. The tongue goes out and forks into two sections with tiny wisps on each end. When the tongue moves back, those wisps curl back up and the liquid gets trapped and pulled back into the mouth. Their tongues move so fast that they have a support muscle which is part of the tongue that wraps around their skull. Another unique attribute hummingbirds have is prismatic feathers. There are thin layers of cells on top of their feathers. When sunlight hits the cells, the light is split into different ranges of visible light. Just by moving slightly, the feathers can turn from a dull brown or gray to a vibrant pink, purple, or green. This is another way for the males to attract a partner. Female hummingbirds are very different from their male counterparts in size, shape, and color. This is called sexual dimorphism. Females do not have flashy bright colored feathers. They tend to be a dull brown. The females also tend to be much larger and have longer beaks than males. This trait evolved likely as a way for females and males to not be in direct competition for food. With the longer beaks, females can find food from a much larger variety of flowers and don't have to interfere with the males trying to eat. Male hummingbirds, on the other hand, can be quite aggressive and territorial. If you see one hummingbird in the area, you're likely to see another, and that means trouble. They will swipe and dive at each other, puff their chests out and bounce off one another, beat their wings in the opponent's face, and even use their sharp beaks and claws as weapons. But don't worry. They typically don't hurt each other with these displays, but if there is a good source of food nearby, they will continue to battle for it. After this, we'll show you some of the ways to attract hummingbirds to your yard. We wanted to take a moment out to explain why their wings look so floppy and odd in certain shots. It has to do with how the video is recorded. Sensors in the camera capture images by scanning across the frame one row at a time. This is a good example. At first, the image is in a darker area, so the camera uses a slower shutter speed. This slower shutter speed captures a lot of the movement of the ruler in each frame, so the ruler looks blurred. When it switches to the sunlight, the camera switches to shooting with a much faster shutter speed. When the rolling shutter lines up in a certain way, the motion of the ruler changes so fast that the rest of the image is already changing before the whole picture can be taken. This causes the ruler motion to look like an unusual wave, or in this case, the hummingbird's wings. Our cameras would need much more light, using a much higher frames per second, to be able to catch the full wing in each correct position. Video is typically recorded between 30 to 60 frames, whereas slow motion video captures sharp and detailed images at 120 frames to 10,000 frames per second, 
like in this video. These birds are wonderful to catch a glimpse of, and you and your family can attract more hummingbirds to your yard in a couple of ways. The easiest and most important is providing one or two feeders. Pick one up at the store. Our local dollar store sells them. Make sure they are brightly colored. In the kitchen, mix one part sugar with four parts water. For example, one cup sugar with four cups of water until the sugar is dissolved. Do not add red dye. It isn't needed as the feeder is colorful enough and some coloring can harm the bird's stomachs. Then fill those feeders up. Extra nectar can be stored in the fridge. We use old juice bottles. Make sure you place the feeders in a shaded area, away from any large bird feeding stations, and of course, out of reach of any cats. Some other useful steps. Add a variety of native flowering plants. Make sure to check what grows best in your area. Avoid using insecticides or other chemicals in your garden. Tie ribbons around trees near your feeders. The flowing colors in the wind will attract migrating birds down for a closer look. Add perches if your yard is a bit sparse. You can buy bird perches online, but it can be as simple as some sticks placed a bit off the ground. Add a water mister to your bird bath. All birds love a good bath, but that fine mist is a perfect shower for hummingbirds. We hope you enjoyed this episode and wish you luck in attracting some hummingbirds. Remember, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints.